joined by Delta. Today we have the pleasure of casting some great action of your NYU Indigos. A little bit of a uh, change up for us. We haven't gotten the pleasure of casting them yet, but it should be a, a good match today. Do you want to lay the lay the field for us? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know about NYU Indigo, you should because they are maybe the favorite in all of CSL Star League right now, really? like just straight up. Uh, and so we're we got we got the the playoffs today. We got a best of three playoff series, uh, and it should be a good one. You know, uh, they finished the regular season nine and one, so wow. uh, pretty strong, pretty strong showing. Yeah. Uh, they, I believe, lost one game to the other NYU Star League team, uh, and that was it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and I believe that the games that the other NYU Star League team lost were to this one. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, should be really fun. An absolute powerhouse coming yeah, out of no, NYU. I mean, some, some serious okay. talent. Uh, for those of you who watched Intramurals, too, there'll be some familiar faces. Oh, really? Uh, especially Nerd is the Word. Oh. Uh, is back, fan favorite here. The champion. Uh, and so that should be, that should be a lot of fun. So... Uh, I believe we are about ready to get into draft, uh, and we are, in fact, in draft here. Um, Steve from production. Is uh, is draft live on Twitch right now? Is that what's going on? Okay, we're good. So, we're good. Uh, NYU out here banning Galio, Udir, and Shen. Uh, I believe they're playing uh, the, the Lobos. Uh, maybe production can tell us exactly who that is, just because I uh, don't. Okay, that's what okay. I thought. Yeah, so the University of New Mexico, uh, Lobos, that's what I... But I was like, that's a little bit across country, but I guess it's playoffs. So yeah, it's playoffs. That's how it goes. So, yeah, starting off our bands, we see Galio, Udir, and Shen, followed by Anivia, Hecarim, and Camille. Um, these are good bands from both sides. Yeah, I mean, uh, these are all just really strong. These picks. are a and, lot of. Oh, well, here you go. All right. So, folks, uh, here uh, at this home, we believe that the way the draft should work right now is that if you are on blue side and Seraphine is not banned, you are supposed to lock in Seraphine without thinking about it. Yep. I agree. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, we have some just, you know, good bands here. Did, I, how, did, did Anivia get a nerf? Mm, supposedly. Okay. So <laughs> didn't change her win rate, so did she? Okay, so yeah. So other than that, you know, we see Hecarim and Camille, some other really powerful picks taken off the board. On the Lobos' first round of picks, they pick up a Jinx and a Karma. Um, sitting next to me is, you know, the number one Jinx fan in the world. So I'm sure this is going to be exciting that, for you. I'm not sure quite that, but I do love me some Jinx. Yeah. Um, and then Karma picked up as well. What are your thoughts about Karma right I now? think Karma is really underrated, actually. I think that really? we, we should see more Karma than we do. Uh, you want to talk about people who are able to abuse Moonstone? Oh, sure. Karma. <laughs> and she's, hey, hey, do you, is she still a three-way flex? Do you think that's still real? Mm, or do you think she's I'll just give it a two. Okay. For, yeah, for I don't think line. the top. No, I don't oh, think the top is real anymore. All right, I think so is more. But picks coming out here really, really fast. Uh, picked up for the bottom lane. We see the Rel and then Nar headed into the top lane, and Lobos following it up, uh, ending the first phase of picks with a set. Um, and then Kaisa taking off the board here. Uh, you know, the the fact of the matter is, you know, uh, Rel is is honestly a, a power pick when you're playing. You know, these five v fives. Uh, in solo queue, she's not super, super strong, but uh, Magnet Storm paired with the rest of her CC abilities in team fights, she can really just be a monster. And then what are your thoughts about Nar right now? He's getting picked a lot. I think Nar is really good. Uh, you know, someone like LS talks a little bit about how Nar is a bit of a sin, but I think the thing, the reason that's true in pro play more than it is at maybe a slightly lower level like Collegiate is just because uh, there are other champions you can play around when you have that level of professional sure. coordination that are maybe a little more effective. Sure. He is such a good team fighter. When you have, yeah. I mean, look at NYU's team fight already with this oh, yeah. Seraphine Nar Rel. It's, it's actually and unusable. You're talking about Rel a little less, less powerful in solo queue. I think one of the reasons for that is she does take some coordination. But yeah. when you have that coordination, she's such a powerful Well, yeah, player. I mean, because, you know, one of her bread and butter abilities relies on your ADC standing in the right place. Right. Okay, so finishing off the bands here, we see a Zach, a Silas, and a Samira. Samira hit by a bunch of nerfs in a row. But I, I, I think still, you know, a reasonable pick. Um, I'm always a friend of uh, the big green blob. I think Zach is a Senna's available, actually. Yeah, Senna is available. It looks like they're thinking about a misfortune here. Uh, currently, for this for the side of the Lobos, uh, it is going to be a misfortune. Okay, it is going to be a misfortune. And then they're finishing it off with an Olaf. Uh, Lavender just blazing through this pick ban. I mean, Lavender's draft is so cohesive. Yeah, and, like, and they also gave us like zero seconds to think about it. But I mean, they just knew what they, I mean, it seems to me like they just got everything oh yeah, they wanted oh yeah. here. Well, because what happens is, you know, this team is going to hit two and a half, three items, and they they won't be able to lose. You know, if they play this aggressive tempo game, there's just nothing they can do, um, or there's nothing that the Lobos can do to kind of deal with this, you know, 
fracking ball. I mean, yeah. it, 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 this is you know, this is a really really snowbally composition. Um, I, I pretty I, I mean honestly I like it across the board. The Lobos here, they got some interesting stuff going on. I mean, they also have a lot of good team fight. I mean, it's it's really you know the it's just protect the jinx. Right? I actually what's interesting here is that because we're in pro draft, we don't get to see what they actually do yeah. trade. Yeah. I don't know where Karma and Set are. They could be either way. It could go either direction. Yeah, that's true. It's that's probably true. karma support. Probably. And yeah. set mid yeah. is what, what I would expect. Uh, I and mean, I, I think that the set mid is uh, is pretty reasonable here. Yeah, I agree. And, and like I said, I, I mean, I think this is uh, I, I think this is just, you know, protect the jinx, right? You have just infinite front line, right? Like, you know, there is there is more front line than you could ever ask for. You know, you have you have karma to give you moots and everything. Okay. So you can see here they're headed yes. in the draft and two ways is just gonna work. Is this on speed? Sorry, production is this on stream as well? Yeah, okay, they're just cool. gonna speed run through this. So they know all the picks, so we can just you know review this. You can see them picking up what's gonna be going in the composition here. Um, you know, the the thing about this Jinx comp, right, is that you, you have to get into the game, right? For this to for this to do anything. Sure. If you don't actually make your way into the game. You know, you're gonna have a really, really rough time here. I mean, yeah, there's you know a billion pieces of CC. I really hope that they pick the Olaf like that, just because it's Olaf top in our jungle. Oh, that'd be lovely. I don't think it is, no, but like crazy. maybe it, it would be cool. It would be cool. It, it's it would be weird for them to pick it and then trade again, yeah. knowing that they already did the draft. So I mean, let's talk about some of these lane matchups here. I mean, you know, to talk about the jungle just really, really quickly. I mean, the way that ju this jungle works is very straightforward. Olaf can just farm at like five times the speed of Sejuani. Sejuani needs to yeah. find really good early ganks, and Olaf is just going to have tempo advantage. Well, and Sejuani also needs to make sure that she spends most of the early game on the opposite side of the map from Olaf. That because is if they meet in the jungle, it goes one way, and yeah. it's not in Sejuani's favor. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think at every, I think at every single level parity, she just gets bought. Pretty much. Okay, so in mid lane, Seraphine versus Set. What do you think about this? Um, it's interesting. I think that this is a pretty like you're sacrificing the set in a way. Yep. You're basically like, look, you're gonna be down some CS, but you're not gonna die. Yep. Right. Uh, Seraphine has the range that uh, they're just gonna, you know, he's just gonna sit in mid lane and yep. farm up and have a good time and get that Moonstone and Staff probably here. Yep. And I, actually, I don't know if this is really a Staff game. I, I, I think there's actually a pretty serious reason to get Ardent here, actually. What's funny is that uh, there Wait, are some interesting... is this going to I don't be... know. Uh, maybe Mystery Tramp's going top lane? That's uh... actually... I, I don't think that would... I think that's happened before. Okay. Uh, you know, it's it's hard because, like, with uh, with Violet, uh, you know, I've got a spreadsheet. I, yeah, I you know, every we, we watched... I don't know what Indigo's yeah. been up to, except yeah, that they've been know. winning a lot. Yeah, uh, they've been so taking So I'm going to trust whatever they're doing well, here. Well, I mean, also... You know, something that I like that, that, that makes me happier is when, you know, when you have this amount of confidence, right? When you've just 9 1 to split, this is the kind of comp that wants confidence to be behind it, right? Yeah. You need to be proactive. You need to play, make plays on the map. And if you can, it's going to go great. Um, I, my, my intuition is that NAR Malphite is very NAR favored. Yeah, I think that NAR just gets to sort of sit back a lot. Yeah. And, and even in the mega form, like Malphite. It's like, okay, it's double melee. Malphite yep. can finally walk yep. up. It's like, well, no, because you can't walk up to yep. a Meganar. Yeah, I mean, in uh in in it, you know, in, in team fights, I mean, this is just so this is just so indigo favored. Yeah. I it, agree. It's it's crazy. I mean, you know, we've we've already seen uh in pro play the power of uh the misfortune ultimate plus the rel ultimate yep. and magnet storm. What is the name of the misfortune ultimate? Do you know? Bullet time. Bullet time. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Bullet time plus magnet storm just shreds people. I mean, in addition to that, right, you have so many ways to lock down targets for it. Yeah, I do think, though, that the uh, the, the place that the Lobos comp could shine here is that they have a lot of pick potential. A ton. Uh, yeah. And if they can get some picks in the jungle and, and you know, if, if they can turn it into a situation where they're not fighting these 5v5s, yeah. right, they're... They've got these smaller skirmishes. I yep. think that they're going to have the advantage. Well, but the problem is in the early game, right? You for for the side of uh for for the side of Indigo, I mean, even in skirmishes, their skirmish power is not that early game. I agree. Yeah. I, think, I think I think the Lobos have to just realize that they're not getting anything done pre like maybe even fifteen minutes. Like yeah, there's just nothing to be done here. And and, and but kind of the problem is like this team hard spikes at two items. Yeah, they go through the roof yeah. at two items. And yeah, and in some ways that's a little bit worrisome to me. I mean. Another I don't thing know. That's, the thing that's on the side of the Lobos, though, is that, you know, 
if they if you know if they get engaged on, they have just infinite disengage. Yeah, they do have a lot of ways to disengage. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but there's also so many ways for them. Like NYU is also so sticky, right? Like, oh so yeah, they have to disengage oh, yeah. the Rel alt, the Seraphine alt, the Nar alt, like uh, Olaf that's just running at you. Like, well, so there's a lot. That was the next thing to point out, right? Like you know, you know what, what is what is uh what are the lovers trying to do it's very straightforward right you know you have infinite frontline to cc for jinx so she can just you know auto people to death while she's you know ardented and uh moonstone by karma right well you can't peel the olaf right there's there's nothing you can do to peel right. the Olaf. so the thing is you know if if uh if if kokoro lands a good encore and you know then then ragnarok gets popped i'm i'm unsure what you can do about it um so yeah i mean this is a this is a good looking draft um i mean for for my money's sake uh i have them on i i i i would have my money on indigo here um you know but a bit of a homer too so you know maybe well, we always refer to you yep that's right um okay well we have a second here um i guess i can say uh you know all Poly gaming network on Twitter on yep. Twitch if you're not already following. Our Twitter handles are on the screen. Yep. Follow us as well. Yep. Um, you know, don't uh, don't spread the virus. Just uh, hang out at your house, play League of Legends. You know, be safe. Uh, study for midterms. Call your mom. That was good. Yes, call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, we got we got a couple minutes to kill here. You wanna? Do you have anything you want to, hmm. anything pressing you want to talk about? TSM's in third place. In yeah. US. Oh my God. It's That's crazy. Impressive. Well, I mean, the biggest surprise of the split to me is what happened to Liquid? What yeah, is going they on? They don't look great. No, it, I mean, going into the split, right? You know, they have the best top laner. They have like, you know, in contention for the second best jungler, right? I mean, the way that I think is, you know, there's closer and then there's like a bunch of jugglers in second. And I thought that would be Santorin. Blabber. Oh, excuse Everyone me. else. Oh, you, you think it's Blabber, not Closer? Yeah. Yeah, Blabbers look great. That's true. And then, you know, they have the second best mid laner, or they were supposed to have had the second best mid laner. They were, they were supposed to have the best or the second best ADC, and then, you know, the best player in the LCS in yep. court. And the way that it's ended up working out is like, Alfari just kind of looks, I mean, he looks great, but he kind of looks like he's just on his own. Santorin has just been bewildered. Yeah. Jensen is just not really working with the rest of the team. Tactical looks like an academy player. Yeah. And uh I mean core is still doing core still things. Core. Yeah, core is still core. But, but it's a little bit of a, a 2v8. It's, yeah, at the it's so weird. Yeah. It's uh it's it's really not really what we expect. Well, how can they handle the power of LCS God uh Saligo? Oh my god. So, yeah. Who Saligo is in fact was... an alumni of your school? That is correct. Yes. Yeah, I uh, I got a I got to you, Saligo. Uh just murdering everybody when he was on our team. There just weren't close matches. Yep. Except for I had a couple rough years in pro in the pros, but yeah, yeah. seemed to be really. I mean, even last year, but going into oh, this yeah. year, has figured oh, yeah. it out. I mean, yeah, statistically, right now he is the best mid laner. Yes, uh, slightly ahead of <laughs> other LCS legend, Immortals Sanity. Yeah. Uh, so you know, LCS is totally great right now. No one knows yeah, what's going it's, on. It's I mean, fantastic. Spe speaking of things that don't make sense, do you know what the uh, I am Kanabitsa finals was? Uh, wasn't it VP Gambit? Uh, VP Gambit? And yeah. Gambit won. And Gambit won. What? What year is it? I have no idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the rift for the first of three games of a possible three games between your New York University Indigos and University of New Mexico Lobos's. Uh, anyway, okay, here's side. the question. Is it Indi I don't think it's Indigos. It's Indigo, right? Indigo, yeah. But it's. What is the plural of Indigo? Indigo. Okay, well, I think. we're also, I mean, maybe it's the Lavender? Steve, help us here. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Okay. It's okay. Lavender, but we call it Indigo right, back right. home. Okay, we're, we're, we're calling them, uh, are we calling them the Lavender or the Indigo? Okay, okay we're, we're calling, calling them, them lavender. the Lavender. All right. So, no invade coming out here. I think it would have been actually perfect to do so. Uh, just, just to clarify, it is not, in fact, in our jungle. However, yeah. Mystery Tramp is top lane. So, I believe he is normally the jungler, but I guess they, you know, they flexed it. Yeah. I guess he's just yeah. more comfortable on the Nar, perhaps. So yeah. like, you know, there's something here. So uh, Fear of Max is in fact yep. on the Olaf. I I'm actually surprised we aren't seeing an invade here. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like, I mean, actually, I think it's hard for both of these teams for a couple of different reasons. You can't fight the Olaf if you try to invade into Olaf, yeah. and you can't fight the set if you try to invade That's into the set. That's true. So That's I think true. they sort of handshake that. We're going to head into lane here. It's going to be Kokoro against Magical Poop. Here we're calling it Magical. Uh, we're calling it Poop, actually. I'm, I'm and, not uh, here for that. All right. So, um, I mean, I think I think in bot lane, there's just, you know, so much pressure on the Jinx to just not die, right? Yeah, I definitely think that <laughs> Karma, Karma provides some stability. Like, yeah. the shield and the speed up is definitely going to yeah. be helpful. Uh, yeah. But definitely got to be careful. The Misfortune and the Rel are going to have a lot of priority here. And with Olaf, too, I mean... I think that uh, NYU could probably look for, like, the five-minute dragon. Like, just on spot, level four, Olaf, I mean, just, like, take it. Well, right? the, the thing that's puzzling to me is that uh, Fear Max decided to start top lane. Generally, when you want really, really early dragon control, you want to start bottom lane so that uh, when your camps are coming up, it's time so that you can go straight to dragon. Sure. Um, but that being said, I mean, you're going to have just infinite cryo from both of your lanes. So, I mean, I think a really early dragon is totally in the cards. Can Olaf solo at a level four? Like, yes, but it takes a really long time, right? Uh, not even a, 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 the answer is just straight yes. I I, mean, it definitely takes a while. I mean, you know, he's, he's okay. Oh, Great engage coming in here from survivors. Uh, free taking a lot of damage off of the ignite. He's just gonna have to back. I love the aggression here. Yeah. Uh, you know, making sure to get access to Rel that. flash for Jinx flash. Oh yeah. Rel has hex flash. Sure, sign me yeah, up. Yeah, you you've unlocked the better summoner. Yeah, it's actually hex flash is actually just better than flash. Yeah. So this is Thanks this is much. lovely. Um. Yeah. What I was gonna say is Olaf. You know, like when we talk about you know junglers that can solo objectives. Chat, keep it up. This yeah, is great. Lo Loving the chat. Um. Too. You know, when we talk about you know junglers that can solo dragon, right? You know, the number one is Shivana, right? There's yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, she she just does extra damage <laughs> to dragon. Yeah. So you know, there's Shivana, and then the next tier I would say is like uh, Olaf by Graves. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, Grace just doesn't take any damage from Truth because of Truth. Yeah, like I don't know, B maybe. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, uh, we're talking about Vafraya. Well, uh, the problem here now is that uh, Free is half HP and he can't leave, but he also can't stay. And this is this really awkward place when you're an AD carry of like, well, I'm already down 10 farm at four minutes, and if I back, it's gonna get worse. And if I don't back, then uh. All right, so we see Gang coming out of here, Fear of Max coming out on the Olaf, and that is first blood dead real, real fast here. Juggling aggro really, really and takes down Log, and they do, unfortunately, Miss Fortune has to trade her life execute. for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's an execute, will not end up giving over gold. Oh, Magical okay. there does get the, uh, the, 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 the pull off, but Max doing a phenomenal job not taking the aggro. That is a two and zero Olaf. Yes, it actually ends up being a two for one with two deaths on the side of NYU. So a little bit of a classic there. As no, no one death. Uh, no, because oh, the the, the, the leaf oh, survivors, right. leaf no, survivors right. died to the Karma. Yeah. Uh, and some died to turret. Yeah. But it is a two for one because that gold does not go anywhere. Uh, so yeah, pretty well executed dive. Olaf is now two and out, which is huge. Uh, yeah. And and you know the gold, the gold went on to the Karma. And as far as supports go, Karma uses gold pretty well, but not quite like Olaf. Max here smells that something's a little fishy. Uh, Axe just barely misses. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Max is uh, Max is scary. This is yeah. uh, look, you know, there is reason to have fear of Max right about now. Um, okay, Jake, thank, uh, appreciate it. All right. All right. So Back top to, lane. Uh, I mean, this is the thing again. It's like, yeah. Okay. Is Nar gonna kill the Malphite? No. Uh, Nar's up 13 CS. Like you're just you're just <laughs> happy, right? Okay. Like, there goes Karma's flash for absolutely nothing. Yep. I mean, this is uh this is just a free dragon. That's uh yeah. yeah. And Credlag making the uh, rookie mistake of being in the same vicinity as Aurel. Yep. That's uh, correct. And unfortunately, we'll have to flash for it. Well, and you know something. Okay. There's, There's already action though. here in the top lane. The level six comes. Yeah. Uh, see, turns in an R. I think that I think yeah. what happened there is that uh, right when they went for that engage, you saw that he flashed the level six. That he got level six on yeah, the mouth fight, yeah, and they yeah. saw that. So good call there to be. Well, yeah, like, yeah, because you can't go under tower there, right? because max is I, they, so they 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 wanted to dive him at level yep. five yeah but uh good call they're good good discipline yeah, to be really like really oh awareness. he's level six yep. let's back off yep. so good job there 
that was great. I mean, something that's really nice for uh, for Seraphine here is that, uh, you know, V drop. The way that it works is it, you know, it, it cares about whether or not the target is, you know, their level of CC, but it doesn't care where it came from. Right. And Dino is really good at consistently applying slow. Pull off. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, this is the whole thing of like yeah. the Ash Seraphine bot lane, right? Yep. Is Ash yep. just autos and then it's a group all of a sudden. So I see a TP come in. Yeah, there's a little bit of a skirmish going on here in the jungle. Max is not level six. Magical, they're trying to, you know, flirt with the idea of getting in some action. Ooh. The unstoppable force coming up here. Max went so low. Big Encore coming out. He's alive for way longer than he should have been. Joey there does, you know, manage to stay alive for a little while, but not quite long enough. The Nar goes down. Gripper is so low here. There's the oh! rush. He goes under tower. Just missing Get the ignite, him. though. The ignite, the ignite ticked down. And Gripper will go down. Magical left barely alive down in the bot lane. <laughs> Believe is so aggressive. Yeah, this is this crazy. This is great. This is the way you are supposed to play this composition. If, if, if anyone, if anyone this... has watched, I, I mean, I think that the best, the only player who I think should play Rel in NALCS is Core JJ. Yeah. Uh, and this is how he plays the yep. Rel, right? Yep. Just flash engages all yep. over the place. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is textbook. Yep. As yeah, look great. at that damage onto the car. Yeah, I mean, this is this is fighting out more than he can chew. All right, Rel back in the bottom lane here. Lag is about to get stunned up any moment. I'm sure he does. There comes the bullet time. Survives for a little while. But uh, ends up going down to the rail. Am uh, Anon here's Gotta so watch out for the rocket. low. Uh, Freeston is not level six. And I here don't think Jinx has mana for all yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, here comes the off. Flashes oh. to try and get the misfortune is not able to do it. And that is another kill going on to the off. And that will be Dragon here at some number of minutes into the yeah, game. Yeah, that we can't see. Uh, we will find out shortly how many minutes into the game it is. It's about eight minutes. Yeah. Oh, there's a kill. There you go. How's right. that? Wow. Uh, there you go. But yeah, I mean, now it's a 20 CS lead in the bot lane. It's a 20 CS lead in the top lane. It's a 15 CS lead in the mid lane. Uh, NYU has six kills. They're going to get first dragon here. Yep, yep. And yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, so far it's been really Th This textbook. is exactly what you want. Yeah. I mean, this is how this is supposed to go. Yeah, here. And, and you know, the, the problem too, and someone in chat made this made this point as well. Uh, Jinx gets behind here. She's their entire comp, right? Yep. Like, this is yep. just for the Lobos. They're in yep. trouble. Unstoppable force comes through here. Yeah. Mr. Champ has no way to get the Nidar. So, 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 so. Ooh, gets a he, lot of damage. He's, he's going to escape gonna by the skin of his Does he survive the here? corrupting pot? He does. Wow. Oh my There's gosh. no teleport available for the side of the Lavender right now. So we'll be able to follow up on it. Um, I mean, yeah. I also, just look at the CS differentials across yeah. the game. Yeah, I was talking about that, and it's it's huge. And right now, it's just, you know, Sichuani has a couple of kills, so that's nice. But oh Believe's boy, just in top river. Believe, you're getting so cheeky. Magnet Storm comes out, and there. River here must surely be going down any Doesn't moment. actually take that much damage. Yeah, so far he's been okay because Olaf, of the aftershock. Yep. Max will end up taking him down. This this Olaf is four and one. He needs to start putting some kills on other people, but yeah, I mean, you see picking up the Herald now, he's gonna get this for absolutely free. He can drop this in the mid lane probably? Yeah, I think you could, I mean, mid lane, top lane. Mid lane uh, has one less lane, so you're a little yeah. bit closer to getting that tower down. That's true. Uh, so that's probably a little bit better, actually. Well, and, and, and generally, you know, unlocking the Seraphine so she doesn't need the lane is, is pretty, yeah, pretty I mean, worth it. Yeah, I mean, Seraphine's actually a support, so yeah. uh, we, we promise. It's actually, it's actually it's God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Seraphine actually looks like is building, uh, are those Moonstone components? I don't know. No, those are not. I don't think those are. So many, somebody who built that out of a lot, no. I or think those are. Are those are... components? No, are those Dark Angel? No. Oh my god. I don't think Phoenix see, builds in Dark Angel. Yeah, see, this is the problem with having an ADC and a, and a support casting, right? No, I mean, I know what items built into, <laughs> and I just, I think that's Ludens, and I'm just confused. It's Ludens? Probably. All right. Well, if anybody is we'll watching, okay, it's Landry. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you, chat, for uh, helping me with my yeah. coming. Do we like Leandres? Is that, is that good? Uh, I think it's. I think it's really cool. All right, Joey, you're taking a lot Ooh, of damage. Doesn't get the does have unstoppable force here. Uh, looks like he's just gonna have to back off. Gripper here is allowed to pick up his own red buff. Uh, Mystery Van uh, in chat. Thank you as well as. Uh, for helping with that, but also Mr. Tramp, also for for those of you, not the same person, no, uh, but did not quite get the stun into the wall there on the Malphite, which was, I think, maybe gets the kill even, he gets the stun there. Well, uh, Reese had died here, but there's Magnetor, oh. was uh, no Olaf needed here, and son, two kills for the low, low price of absolutely free, and that's gonna be the bottom tower going down, um, man. 
Yeah, this yeah. is uh, this is exactly what this comp is supposed to be doing. Good execution. When you there. here's the thing. So here's the thing about bullet time is, uh, if you read that ability, you go, why does it do that much damage? And the reason is most of the time it's not that hard to walk out of. Yeah, it. just don't stand there. For well, him. turns out. Well, speaking of standing places, you're not supposed to stand here. Uh, magical. Gets encored up, but goes back in, putting so much damage onto the Seraphine. Seraphine uh -oh. will this be going down. Bad for you. Does, does go down. Uh, oh! Max, <laughs> Peter Max here left in the, in Wait. the 1v2. Oh my god. Survives for way longer than he should have. Uh, triple, triple kill, kill, kill going onto the, the, onto the Sejuani here, but unfortunately, you don't want this gold on Gripper. Ends up being only a 3 for 2 on the side of no. the Lobos. Yeah, and <laughs> this is... <laughs> What was that Olaf? I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't think this is that. I don't think this is that good. No, know? I mean it's not the. I mean, obviously, it's always yeah. good to get some kills. But, kills are kills. But yeah, definitely on the Sejuani. Sejuani will be nice and tanky, so there is that. I but mean, oh, the sun comes through. But Mystery Tramp, maybe a little bit wide off, a little more than he He's in the one v two now, and Magical is here. Mystery Tramp gonna do his best to get away from this, but he will not as the Haymaker comes through and finishes him off. Good response here from uh, Magical on the top lane, but unfortunately. 5,000 gold lane. <laughs> Believe is just <laughs> running around the map, just terrorizing people. <laughs> yeah, Believe is, uh, yeah, this is, this is scary. But yeah, that's the thing that, yeah. what I was just going to say about bullet time and MF vault is that, uh, I mean, it does like 1,100 damage yeah. if you eat every yeah. wave. But just, and it, there's so many ways on the side of that NYU to just make <laughs> that happen. It's so gross. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, you know, the way that that ability gets balanced is just... Just walk just away. Don't, <laughs> just, just don't, don't stand, stand there. there. Come on, guys. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you can try all you want to not stand there. But, I mean, look... Ah, uh, yes. Good support here. You know, they, they ended up they ended up answering back some kills in what happened there in the bottom lane. But the fact of the matter is... You Jinx know, is so far behind, though. Jinx is, is yeah, Jinx is so far behind. I mean... You got first turret there plus four plates in yeah. one go. I mean, they're down 5,000 gold already. Dragon's up. It is not going to be contested. Yeah, either. and also, I mean, you know, they, they get this yeah. dragon for... There's there's no contest here that's available. Um, and then, you know, in addition to that, you know, you're heading with a 2-0 dragon lead into the best dragons. Yeah. In, into the best souls. Right? Yeah, it's going to be either Ocean or Inferno here. Yeah. Uh, and that is scary if you are University of New Mexico. Uh, it is going to be Ocean, which is probably the scary of those two somehow. Uh, yeah, I mean, and... Believe here just still being an absolute terrorist down in the bottom jungle. Um, Meanwhile, top lane. Am, am I allowed to say that on air? Steve, can I say that? I don't know. Can I say that word? So, all right, cool. <laughs> there are okay. no rules. So, cracking down. And Third time's the charm for the left. Left. Aggression here from Tramp up in the top lane. He has the range to just not get unstoppable under See, tower. See, this is fine though, because like he's just not. <laughs> the thing is, is like yes, he's not killing the Malphite, but Malphite has TP and just isn't allowed to use it. Oh yeah. Which, which, if you're the side of NYU, is like that Gnarl is on such a low cooldown yeah. that it's actually up every yeah. time you're Mega anyway. Yeah. That like you don't really care. Production, can we take a look at uh, at, at player gold right now? Uh, so real quick. 2500 gold in the 80 carry pocket yeah, that's and it. that's exactly what I all of look. the most fed yeah. member on uh on the lobos is sejuani and sejuani is not up gold on a lot yeah right so that's just really brutal yeah I and mean, you know like we said right this this composition is real quick 1500 gold support difference yeah that's that's whoa. really funny whoa yeah so you know like we said you know this is this is jinx and some other things when Jinx is this behind, it's just some other things. I mean, yeah, it, <laughs> it's exactly, right? You know, you just got a pig, a rock. Yeah, you're uh, like, so you're like, I guess I got like an old timey boxer. Like, yeah, I guess this is fine. And then, you know, uh, what is Karma's like an essential oil salesman? <laughs> Car we live in Boulder, Colorado, and I actually know like four people who Karma is in real life. Yep, that's uh, true. All right, uh, Gripper and Joey here realize that there's an Olaf nearby and just have to turn tail and get out. Fear Max and Believe here going in. Oh my Again, God. Magnet Storm lands and there is really nothing. Ooh, nice flash for Gripper. Okay, yeah, good flash there, but I don't oh think it's going to matter. Fear Max is unstoppable, goes under tower of the... Oh, oh my God. Hit uh, box, right? Ooh. Oh, he's so low. Oh, flashes it. Oh, uh, Believe here doing his best. So the slams him into the wall and that is poor kill. Yeah. Max, Max is so strong here. Um, I don't know if anybody noticed that Encore. <coughs> that Encore would have missed if not for the fact 
that Joey dodged slightly to the right yeah. to dodge something. And uh, Joey was dodged so many things there. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, there yep. were just too many things. Uh, Ooh, uh, hands on here. Man got trouble. a little bit caught. Lots of trying to get out. He does have flash and cleanse. He's holding it for quite a while here. Uses it eventually, and there is Tramp. Honestly, that's a big shutdown. At, yeah, that's that's pretty greedy. I I would have supported you know just flashing immediately and getting out there. Uh, you know, Gripper's ult does get used, but does it really matter? Mystery Tramp um, does not have the Nar available quite yet. Yeah, he's getting close. All right, you see, believe going in there. Uh, CC's up Gripper's Gripper. That bad. is Gripper from again. Um. There is uh, there's almost Nar available on Nar. So close. I'm not sure he's gonna. Oh, All right, he does, he get, does it. get it into a really, really. Uh, speed drop ends up landing on some people. You see, Mr. Grip going down. However, it doesn't really, really matter. The kills being answered. Two. two more kills back onto this Olaf. He's an absolute monster at this point in the game. Surely saying hello, knocking on the door of the top lane, and that should just be the evidence. Yeah, I mean, this is just. They're actually probably gonna get a. They might even get a charge onto. Uh, no, they're not gonna go for it. No, uh, but which I like. Yeah, I, this I, is I, a 17 and a half minute inhibitor. Like, yeah, they want to go do Baron and they can't. Cause it's not up yeah. yet. Uh, but I mean, I think I think they will very very happily take the consolation prize of everything else on the map. Yeah, their entire yeah. job. Uh, every piece of gold <laughs> is now NYU's. Yeah, uh, and the thing. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's like for for the Lobos, like this Jinx now is. Yeah, 0 and 5 has 115 <laughs> farm in 18 minutes. Like, doesn't have a mythic item yet. Nope. Uh, and doesn't actually just get to play the game. Well, yeah. So and and you, yeah. Okay. So I was just gonna say, Anson is about to recall for another item, and there it is. Yeah, he gets the Lord Dominic's regards. Which, uh, which again, this here. Lobos team is yeah, absurd. Seems, seems fantastic. So I mean, this is the thing, right? Is they've got the mythic items on every member. They've got two items or close to it on most members of yeah. NYU now. And uh, two and a half plus boots. Not on even Olaf. mythic items on Malphite or Jinx or Karma. Yeah. There's finally the Kraken Slayer for the Jinx. Yeah. So that is that is late. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, rough. really late here. So they're going to be picking up, uh, you know, the first of the two Ocean Drakes that it takes to get the soul from here. There's nothing that the Lobos Yeah, can do. I mean, so NYU just like. They just honestly just outdrafted, yeah. and they just also understood what they needed to do yeah. from like a gameplay yeah. perspective, and yeah. they just ex like this has been really textbook execution. Yep. Yeah. And for those of you, I don't know if anyone here uh, is coming from previously like only watching Violet, but uh, the reality is the, the the level of play in Star League is not that different than in in, yeah. in the like general yeah. collegiate series. Well, so, when I these are a lot I, of. I think best teams in in you all are are a good bit better than the best teams right? okay I sure mean, but but my point is that like you know this isn't some like as we have a fight here yeah i mean look you know there may not be that big but the fact of the matter is now the lavender are just putting on a show the magnets are doing so much damage in the first half of this fight and now there is a follow-up a really puts the whole team into the meat grinder that is the lavender right now and that is a 5-0 clean ace, and they are waltzing. And it wasn't even like, particularly oh, close. It even like, close to being close. It's so hard to shoutcast the fight because it's not really a fight. No. It's more of a massacre. This is going to be a 20-minute second inhibitor. They might even just go look. Nope, they're just probably... They decide not to. Baron. It's up now, finally. Yeah, you can just go get yeah, Baron here. Um, I mean... My point, though, is just yeah. I want to you know give a lot of respect oh, to NYU because yeah. like, this is you know a good New Mexico team. Yeah, it's yeah. obviously a good... NYU team and like this has just been very very yeah, all the, around. yeah this has been a heater I mean you know the, the fact of the matter is if you play a composition like this this is how you're supposed to play it right you know you can't sit around and wait for things to come to you you know the, the aggression that we have seen from from Max and from Believe I'm just laughing Mr. Absurd. Mr. Trent missed his W on Scuttlecraft oh <laughs> so didn't get the stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It, it's it's frustrating to cast Nar when his best ability is also named Nar. It's actually named Nar. Nar using you have the to, Nar. It has like four exclamation points. Yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah the, actually neighbor. I think it might only have one exclamation. I think our neighbor's gonna get upset. Yeah, you can see there the little dinosaur himself. Is uh is is Dino Nar the best release skin? It's up there. It's sure. it's so good. Yeah. Uh, if you I don't mean, like throwing like toy houses at people, who even are you? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, 
Riot has really stepped up their skin game. I mean, I remember at a certain point when, you know, the best skin was Roloff. Okay, we see the TP coming in here. Looks like they're going to try and make even more action happen here, just keeping the tempo up, not giving the Lobos even a second to breathe. And that's exactly how it should be. You can see here, the Sejuani is caught in the top lane. There's so much prior going in. Trampier a little bit caught. You know, he's not I don't know if this... Yeah, I don't think that he's was it. Dead. He goes down for free that there. That's a little bit sloppy. Max going in, gets... Uh, bolted up, but I don't think it really, really matters. You can see the Encore going in. A beautiful ma oh. Magnet into the bullet time. Bullet time, so much damage here. Joey on absolutely no will be allowed to survive for just a moment. If you know who will not be allowed to survive, Olaf's taking two turrets and I think ended up at a higher HP than he started with. The base of the Lobos. Yeah. Turret one falls, turret two falls. There's no one hit. One left, but there's no Nexus. Absolutely textbook and wow. Lavender picks up game one. Man, this, this, wow. this Lavender team's pretty Damn. good, huh? All right. Good. Good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, that was something. Welcome back. Um, yeah, that was that was exciting. That was a good game. That was, that was nice. Yeah, there you relaxing. go. Uh, I'm going to go out on... You, you may disagree with me on this. I was going to say player of the game. I actually kind of want to give it to uh, Believe. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, Believe was just, it's just everywhere. I mean, Max was also. Yeah, Max was ridiculous Fear well. of Max, indeed. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it goes to one of the two. Uh, I mean, Anson as well. They and, all just, you know, it was just clean top to bottom. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, chat's popping off about Anson. Yeah, absolutely. That is right. a that is a good copy. Yeah, this is right great. There. Yeah, people, people showing out for this match. All right, so... Uh, let's get word from production on exactly when the next match is starting. Yeah, what's the deal around? All right. Um, okay. Well, we'll. I, I, I think we'll head to like a maybe. All, All right. right. Let's take so a we're quick gonna break. Head, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break. It might be as short as like a minute. But everybody who's watching at home, thank you for joining us. Go get some water. Go get some tea. Some we're gonna coffee. have another game of this. Yeah. Uh, you know, this could just be a two-zero. Well, it's looking like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment for game two of this best of three series. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still Hotfish, and this is still Delta. Still Delta. Yep. All right, we're headed into game two here momentarily. After draft, we're going to have a little interview with Coach of the Lavender to talk about draft. Yeah. This, this is kind of our thing. Yeah. No stream does this. It's so good, though. Yeah, Why so doesn't? We, we are pioneers in our well, field, honestly. I, I, I mean, the reason is that generally – coaches don't like to talk about their draft strategies right because you know it, it kind of bleeds information but look you know this is the nyu stream we're here to talk hey, about hey what's your draft strategy i don't know we're gonna kill them well i mean you know <laughs> you can see how you know you can see based on how fast they lock things that they know what they want they they know exactly what they wanted okay hopping into draft here the lobos not gonna make the same mistake banning at the anivia the Olaf. they have six sides yeah they have yep. six sides um, Udyr and Galio again. These are just the same bands that Lavender had game one. The Hecarim again being followed up here. And the Seraphine getting taken off the board. Okay. Lavender gets it. If you are on red side, you you have to ban this champion. Yeah, correct. This champion Absolutely is so correct. Broke. Um, you know, there's so much going on in that game that we didn't really have the opportunity to talk about what Seraphine was doing. Um, because I mean, you know, what she does is, you know, you have Ooh. to, you know, you have to you have to draft something to Punish her in whatever lane she's in, and if you don't punish her in laning phase, you know something we've seen, and this is interesting. Something we've seen from uh, from Violet is the Braum as a counter. Yeah. But when Seraphine's mid, that isn't nearly as effective no. because you don't get that same like straight direct answer. Yeah. You don't get to match the Seraphine yeah. all, at all times. So uh, it is going to be the Shen, and then NYU's like, why mess with the good thing? Let's take the rel again. Yep. Believe was an absolute monster. Um, by the way, player of the game for game one is Max. I thought about it more. Max yeah. was just okay. Nar getting Nar again, again. Why not? here. I I was so impressed with how he played Nar. It was yeah. so fearless. I mean, the thing about it is the Malphite wa wants to be able to roam yep. and press R. Yep. And he was like 20% HP the entire yep. game. Well, yeah. In addition, he's like, look, if you want to survive, you need to do one thing. Walk away and use your teleport or ult. Right. And you're fine with both of them. Right, yeah, no, neither of those are good options if you're yeah. the Lobos. I mean, what, because, I mean, the, you know, the Gnar ultimate is half the cooldown of on course. Yeah, probably about yeah. that. All right, Janna getting picked up here for the Lobos, following up probably with the Tristana. Uh, what year is it? Janna, Tristana. Dude, just play Lulu. I I can't, I, I hate, I actually think Janna's better here. You, really, you do? Yeah, I do think it's much, a much better option. Sure. Because uh, the Lulu is good in... At sort of doing everything, right? Yeah, you get a little true. bit of everything, but when you need just pure disengage, yeah, Janna is the move. Well, and, and actually, great into right, yeah, and also good into Nar. The Aphelios, the Aphelios. This is spicy. Two hundred years. This is one of my favorite champions. I played uh, forty-seven straight games of Aphelios on release and won thirty-nine of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took us like what, like four games to realize that Lulu Aphelios was just completely unlose. Well, it also took me four games to figure out how the hell. Of Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, because you know, there's you know, there's the clip of LS, you know, talking about how he's scared to go on broadcast. Like, I'm a our audio is cut out. Hold on, well, we're good. Hello, okay. hello. We cut out for just a moment there. Yeah, just yelling about a fan. You know, I, I, you know, I'm the LCK color caster. I'm. I have no idea what it's really assessing. This is the story of double lift making a fifteen. Page PowerPoint for Team Liquid about what Aphelios does. Yeah. All right. Uh, seems great with Rel getting picked or getting <laughs> taken off the board here. Camille for the Lobos and then Zach and Elise. Since it's two games in a row now for the Lobos and Ten of Side that they banded, I wonder if that is a pick that Lavender really liked, but I don't think it matters. I think Camille's ban here with the Gunnar already locked in. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a little odd. Wait. Yeah. That's a head scratcher. Yeah. That's, that's not really sure about weird. That one. Um, I mean, but it. The thing is, like, I, I, I do think that Ooh. normally banning Camille is good. I do. I do, I think too. Camille's but, busted. you know, they already have a top player. Yep. Okay, so... Braves is going to be the pickup here. Yeah. Um, they need some AP, man. Nah. They need some magic damage. Yeah, I uh, I really like leaving the mid, the mid counter pick here. I think it's great. Okay. Pantheon and Gragas are going to round out the comp. In the so, who's... Do you have Pantheon mid? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I think it could be Pantheon mid or jungle, actually. Uh, and mm -hmm. it could be the Gragas mid or jungle. Uh, yeah, I mean. I think that they could flex it depending on which matchup's better after they sure. see the mid laner. Yeah, that's true. 
yeah. I mean, but the thing is, Pantheon's jungle just got like it's not as good. Syndra. Okay. All right. Another one of my favorite champions. Yeah. Good uh, yeah. And we talk about needing yeah, AP. The well, there's a good there's a good source yeah. of it. Uh, yeah, I think probably it is the Pantheon mid, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, Pan- Pantheon jungle just like barely functions. Yeah. It just it just it, the clear speed so it's yeah. super low. It's super slow and it's very unhealthy uh, yeah. these days. Uh, Pantheon also uh, not terrible into the Syndra. Uh, no. But not great. <laughs> All right, uh, and you know what? Uh, I don't. Know. I think NYU has another just phenomenal draft here. Yeah, this I, looks I, great. I, I think this is another draft. Game. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, the, the thing about what's going on with with their draft here is that, again, you know, something that you hear a lot of pro players talk about is, you know, if you have a good draft and the and the other team has you know a good draft as well, the biggest difference is what is easier to execute, and. I think in a lot of ways, NYU's draft is very straightforward, right? Absolutely. You know, I'm just sorry. I'm just watching the NYU bands, and they've been Bard and Dr. Mundo so far oh, in, we the, love in this draft because you know they've already picked. Uh, I, I was hoping they were spelling something, but unfortunately, they are not, uh, uh, which is a bit of yeah. A I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, BM, B- 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 no BM, you know. B- 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 well, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> more phenomenal analysis. Sure. Yeah, this is we're we're really killing it. Uh, yeah, I think that the the thing is here again is that even if it's the Gragas jungle, which is what I expect, uh, Grace is going to have a faster clear. Grace is going to have more early pressure. Yeah, uh, they've got really stable lanes. That uh, the thing about having stable lanes is like you can leave them alone, or if you gank them, they yeah. get really scary. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, also something that's that that you really like here is Graves is bad at ganking lanes that don't have an ECC. Well. You got a Nar, you got a Syndra, you got a Rel, you got Phalios has a root. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you you have all this. Um <laughs> is the headband. Yeah, I mean, look, the biggest head scratch for this draft to me actually was why like what's the what is the Camille? Like, are you worried about like Camille Jungle? Like you're spending a ban yeah. on Camille Jungle. Alright, well, anyways, now they're just banned. I, I just like that like uh NYU started off by I, this is so silly to talk about, but uh, both teams are now just completely given up on banning anything. Oh, yeah. beautiful. There's no point. It's just fine. I'm, su- I'm surprised they're not just doing blind pick on it. Well, yeah, that's actually, I don't know why. Well, oh, pause. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the biggest right. thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so it will be, you know, there are your team comps on the screen. Uh, I wonder if that is. They picked in the orientation they're planning on playing on the side of the Lobos. Yeah, I, I, I wonder shed- that. Um, all right. I don't. So, th- I actually think that's not the. Damn, I think that's not terrible here. I don't think so either. So we're gonna have a. Uh, we're gonna have an interview really quickly yeah. here. Um, yeah. Celestial Martin, coach of the momentarily. All right. Where he should be joining us any moment now. He's at least yep. Martin. Hello. Can you hear us. Hello. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, sir, good to hear from you. Um, this is this is Delta. Hello. We're gonna pick your brain a little bit about the draft. We want to congratulate you on game one for a uh, kind of a monumental draft gap. Oh yes. Simply about the game one draft. Uh, was there anything that you wanted in game one that you didn't get? Because it seems like you just got to pick all five champions you wanted <laughs> to play and then just send it down. Was that, was that about a- accurate? Um. Well, we would have liked Hecarim, but it's a good okay. thing that they left Olaf up because I feel like Olaf counter their entire like what their yeah. entire team wanted to do so <laughs> yes. it's a good thing we got olaf instead of hecarim yeah that was that was excellent okay so uh glad that we talked about the game one draft yeah so how do you feel about uh, how, do you, how do you feel about game two we're a fan well, of this one as well um they threw a bit of a curveball at us we didn't expect them to play pantheon gragas or um tristana but um we didn't want to let them we wanted uh, to get uh, Rel for ourselves sure. uh, because, as you saw in the previous game, Believe Survivors just takes over the entire game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, but uh, the enemy team counterpicked us with Janna and Tristana, sure. which is really uh, counters our bot lane. We wanted to pick MF again, but uh, instead we decided to go with Felios. Um, it's really rough into the Tristana range. For yeah, sure. yeah. Um, but I mean, overall, how, how I mean, how, how do you feel about how things eventually shake up? Or shake um, I think we've practiced with this style before. It's not our best style, 
but uh, I have confidence. Our players are better. Yeah. The draft is good. We should be able to stomp them 2-0. Well, that, that is, that's I, I the, do love that's the, the Yeah, that's the right attitude. I mean, what we were saying is, you know, when, when we looked at the game one draft, we're like, look, you know, this is, this is a draft where, you know, you need to be proactive. You need to put pressure on them. And, uh, yeah, your boys, you know, just murdered the whole map. I mean, how, how do you feel about the team's confidence in general going into playoffs? I think that their confidence is uh, through the roof. Sometimes it's a bit too much, as you saw, like <laughs> the NAR sometimes overextending, you know, a little bit of for overextension, sure. but that's just because of how confident they are, how how sure. good they, they know they are. Yeah, obviously coming off the 9-1 regular season uh, is a, definitely a good way to build confidence. Um, one thing is this Aphelios pick is interesting. I know you talked about wanting to pick the MF and having to go a different direction. Uh, it's It's the one thing question i guess i have because aphelios is definitely power spiking at a different time than a lot of the rest of the team right instead of that like two item power spike you see from a lot of these guys mm -hmm. it's maybe a little closer to three or four uh yeah so are well, you is this one of those games where you need to like funnel the aphelios or is it go does it go the other direction no um actually uh we saw aphelios a bit in pro play recently and our adc mm -hmm. wanted to try it so we decided to go with it and it has real it, it has it actually has lane priority early game so really? we wanted sure. we wanted that priority. That's uh, why we picked it. You know, we think it's good into this lane. And well, you definitely, um, even especially if, with. Even, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, even if in the later in the game, mid game, he he's not as strong as he would be later. Um, it's really good for the early game, and it's insurance well, for late game. And definitely into the Tristana range, you need something that can answer that. And Calibrum, the the sniper rifle the green gun for those of you who just know the colors uh, <laughs> uh it definitely gives you some options of of uh having some range to deal with the tristana in that lane so mm -hmm. definitely i agree with that pick uh, I, i've played a lot of this champion uh, and i definitely think that tristana is is a pretty good matchup so, so i i mean I, I have a quick question so you know game one we saw max on olaf now we're seeing him on graves does he right. like to play these you know really proactive you know early game ganking junglers is this is is that kind of where he is, is you know does he like to play these more you know kind of carry well, styles we we have a saying on our team um max does as he wants and we just have to follow him <laughs> he'll carry he'll carry the game but you need to be able you need to go with him otherwise he sure, sure. well yeah i mean this is actually something i said you know after game one i said you know look th this reminds me of you know blabber this reminds me of uh of of last year uh of, of last year's strength yeah. online yeah and uh, um he he know, was and, actually and, our top laner um at the start of the season which was last year but um we saw this developing style of carry junglers in the meta and he sure. was he uh, in his champion pool he played graves played all these carry champions so we decided to try it and it worked really well for us so we've stuck with that do you feel do you feel as confident in that now that the, with the jungle xp changes maybe favoring to, uh tank junglers a little bit more do you still feel like that's just he's just so good on it that it, it makes sense to keep keep well, doing it the team plays around it really well now after playing together for months so we've st we stuck for now we do experiment a bit with um tank junglers and making him go top lane things like that but this is sure. uh what we want to play in official matches for now um certainly worked out in game one so uh <laughs> quickly we'll get word from production about how close we are to actually getting in a game um okay cool. all right so uh this is the last question i have for you uh they ban camille after you pick nar is there something we're missing it does does max play jungle camille i think they were just scared of a switcheroo because he has a high <laughs> win rate on camille that's, gotcha. uh, that's i think it was a bit of a blunder maybe all right, well, Martin, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna be heading into game here. Um, best of right. luck. Thank to the you team. so much for having me. Thanks, of course. Right. Appreciate it. All right, uh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna get into game here. Good luck to your boys, and uh, we should get on to Summoner's Rift for game number two of thank NYU you. against University of New Mexico, uh, and looking for the clean duo. Uh, I'm I'm ready. For I'm it. ready for it. I'm ready. For yeah, it. no, it's uh, you know, it's a fun fun little tradition. I think we've sort of we've sort of got it's, here. Yeah, it's uh, good. The post two draft. Post game thing about uh, all right well ladies, it's always fun to hearing how like uh you know his thoughts differ from yeah like, history band, for example yeah, the way yeah, they yeah. approach draft and well, like, uh, you know yeah. there's, there's not one way to draft right you know you know not, you, and, and, not. And the difference is there's a know, lot of wrong ways to draft but there are also well, more than one right way to draft. i mean you know and, and you look at the difference in how they talk about their junglers right you know mystery's been very straightforward it's like look you know uh 
Doubt is not I going to play. You know, <laughs> Doubt, Doubt isn't going to play a, a jungler that is not full clearing. Um, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rift on the blue side. This game we have the Lobos, and on the red side we have your NYU Lavender. How many alarms do you? Have? I don't know. Alarms keep going off. Oh my I don't god. Know why. <laughs> All right, so uh, looks like we have a pretty professional cast here. BGTW. Yeah, we, we're, we looks like we have a pretty standard start. No cheeky stuff. No invades. You know. Yeah. The, uh, the opener that, that that God intended. One thing we didn't talk about is this Gragas mid. I'm gonna be really honest. I think it's pretty bad. I don't think it's that. How good. do you farm yeah. against Syndra? How do you farm against anyone? Even against. against, against like no, because no, they just walk up and auto no. you, and your auto takes less damage. Well, I mean, but, you know, that's not a problem in the top lane, right? Like, you can play Dragon Ball, like, well, but the trying. thing is, in the top lane, is that you're playing against champions that don't deal nearly as much damage sure. with auto attacks. Like, you just, Syndra just, well, I mean, Syndra's such a lane bully anyway. Yeah. I mean, Syndra bullies Galio with lane. Yeah. And if Syndra bullies Galio, I mean, I'm scared to see what happens to the I, I, I think if the timing is right, I think Max can just go. Can just go a three camp into gank. The game. other problem here is that Sindra doesn't have to really worry about like the Shen showing up because yeah. Shen's clear is so slow. I do think that Shen jungle is like a, a legitimate pick. Yeah, uh, I do actually like. I don't think it's better, but I do love the version with Ghost instead of yeah. the first Shen as we've seen. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I the clear is definitely slower, and uh, this Gra I just I'm worried about this Gragas for sure. And you know the Pantheon and Dinar is is decent, but definitely has a little bit of that range melee problem as well. So it'll Wait, be hold on, I, I I I guess I haven't watched enough Rel. When you're in a bush, can they see? No. Okay, they can't. No. Got they it. do not know exactly where you are, but got it. Okay. So we're, there's a lot of tethers like that that works. Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. All right, survivors here has the fire bell on his head, taking a lot of damage. Might actually. Okay. Well, like you. Like we said, here in mid lane, Magical just doesn't get just to gonna, answer the trade. He's just going to do that over and over again. Yeah, I, uh, there's nothing that he's allowed to do in response. Yeah. Um, uh, Kokoro is going to use a lot of mana here, but uh, Just whatever. nice to pick up the exhaust here. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't... I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sure... Definitely he, not for Gragas. I'm, 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 I'm sure you that he much. knows something that we don't. I think I, probably, I, I, I mean, that. I could see that they just, like, needed for the persona here, and they, like... They wanted to have some more flexibility in summoners. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. He doesn't. He obviously doesn't need a summoner for lane. Yeah, that's so. true. Ooh, a core here, actually, actually. Yeah. Wow, that was actually kind of a scary trade. Um, does it does the failure's green gun have longer range than Justana at this point? Yes. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Uh, he will not cal away. Uh, Calibrum. Yes. He has Calibrum and Severum right now. Yes. Right? Calibrum and Severum. All right. I know. Uh, I, I, we're making progress yeah, here. This is great. Green and red. Green uh, and red. <laughs> Top lane here. I mean, it's probably just going to be a little bit of a handshake. Uh, not a lot of kill pressure either direction. No. Definitely could see it's some maybe a Graves gank top. I think that champion could be a little bit vulnerable. Well, yeah, and, and I think in the bottom lane pre six, Janna can certainly get caught. I agree. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, once both these lanes are level six, there is no kill. Yeah. So good job here <laughs> uh, from Gripper as well, just uh, farming up pretty effectively pace yeah. here with, with the Graves. So. Uh, well done. Does get uh, both crabs actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, they're gonna have a little bit more safety in the river vision. Uh, as we're gonna see engage here, survivors goes in and Tristana just goes out immediately. Tornado going a little wide there. You see the firebell sitting on the top of the Aphelios. The dance on just you know walks away. Um, you know, look, there are you know there's there are a few there are a few techniques in League of Legends as reliable as right clicking away from enemy champions. Yeah, OP actually. Yeah, it's really, really busted. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm almost positive the answer is yes, but uh, did did Anson order his guns properly? Uh, I actually wasn't looking at what he had, but uh, actually I don't know. Uh, but I believe he used all of red for his ice Okay. Uh, I I would I would be surprised if he didn't do it that way. I mean, the thing is, is like there are reasons why you order them different ways like it's not just once like always the same but sure uh, i would be surprised but you know you can also there is also an argument it's this is such like a, a failure's minutia but uh to doing it the second time around changing the order and keeping it the same way the first time 
uh, because you want to be able to get to the green gun yeah, the fastest yeah, yeah. so that you can keep getting yeah. that range advantage. Uh, so, thank you to somebody in chat for pointing out that, yeah. Uh, Graves did, in fact, get double scuttled by Shaq. <laughs> yes, that is what wow, happened. That's interesting. He's actually... Man, that's that's nuts. Um, you know, yeah, when we, you know, we're, when we're talking about the theory of Aphelios gun ordering, right, you know, that that's when the meme of you know Nasus is passive, just saying, "Hey, he has twelve percent extra life still." Twelve percent extra life steal. <laughs> extra life extra. No, yeah, he, it he just says, yeah. Nasus has twelve percent life steal. That's yeah, the entire yeah, yeah. passive. That's his whole passive. Yeah. And Meanwhile, Aphelios has, yeah. I think, a hundred and eighty-seven words of passive or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, when you're talking about, you know, what you think you should be doing with Aphelios passive, right? You know. You could write a research paper, and the you know, and even the abstract wouldn't be really understandable unless yeah. you play the champion. Yeah, it's actually ridiculous. All right, uh, they call it two. They call it two hundred years, not because it needs two hundred years to champion on it, because that's how old you need to be to understand how the champion works. Wait, wouldn't you just be like stupid by then? I mean, if you're two hundred years old, I'm assuming like some other like yeah, you supernatural you, yeah, you ability. Yeah, you figured something out. That's like, true. <laughs> this is um, what, what is this conversation? Just, We've a, actually provided zero meaningful analysis. It's a lull so state, right? You know, uh, there's nothing happening. Okay. It is a lull state, L U L. Yeah, uh, yeah. As we will see another sun come through. Koro is out of mana, uh, but we're seeing. He's actually taking a lot of damage from these barrels. Those barrels definitely do hurt a little bit. Uh, yeah. I would actually not be surprised to see that Kokoro pick up that burden barrier. That yeah. I think is just like unbelievably efficient right it's now. So much. Uh, it's so much it is a little awkward with. Dragus being really the only source of magic damage, yeah. but I think it might still be good enough. Uh, I mean, isn't it like nearly gold efficient just on like... It's close. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, so yeah, for for those of you who are wondering, uh, the most efficient items in the game for gold, as actually I can't talk about this, is we're gonna see a gank from Belief Survivors and uh, Fear of Max is here as well, but a well-placed tornado will take care uh. of that. See, this is what happens when color casters start to call a play. Yeah, I just it don't. Just, I just, just don't get to do anything. It just uh, fizzles. But uh, burden, <laughs> burden barrier and seekers Arm guard, yeah. uh, which are the same item, just AP and AD respectively, yeah. uh, are the most efficient items in the game. As Mr. Champ doing actually kind of a lot of damage to this pantheon. Oh, the sun comes through. There's actually so much damage going in. The Nar ultimate lands, but Joe, you're doing Channel. so much damage. The channel comes out. Stand united. This is Fear? so close, Joey. Oh, we'll oh, finish it off. Oh, that's first blood there. Uh, wow, so close. Well, well timed mm. Stand United from Gripper. I'd yeah. actually, he hit six, I think, in the middle of that fight top lane. Wow. Because if you look, Fear of Max is still level five on the count of him doing yeah, Dragon. That's right. Which means that that last camp that was done by Shen yeah. was enough to get a level six and enough to save But I, I actually player. don't think this is full positive because he's going to lose, he's going to lose this camp. It's uh, he's gonna, gonna be slightly dragon. gold positive, but like it's a couple hundred, and with the dragon factored in, it's actually about even. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, but I think what happened is uh, mystery trip probably asked his team as we're gonna see a gank mid lane. Miss magical boom may be in trouble. Good body slam there. Great barrel. Fear of Max taking another turret shot, but it will just be the ultimate from the Syndra taking him down. And now Joey Lamano is here for the re-engage, but not gonna have enough to do with the tower right there as Kikoro is starting to deal some serious damage. Uh, taking some damage of his own, but Fear of Max does provide enough support to keep him safe for now, uh, and will save that one. So a nice kill there on the side of NYU. Uh, so good job, yeah, getting another one back. And, yeah, and I mean, you know, at the end there, right? You know, Max is you know, just wiggling around this potential Pantheon spirit that just kills him. So the thing I want to point out too is you see these Cindric cues, and they are starting to hurt. Yeah. Once Syndra's level eight, when Syndra hits level nine, she starts dealing additional damage yep. to champions with her Q. Yep. And that is going to be painful when we yeah. get there. Really, really yeah. painful. I mean, and also, you know, we'll see actually no very very good so far. Yeah, I I, th I I don't think that I, I don't think it's an unreasonable yeah, choice to not go for funny. it like just into the Gragas, especially if you feel like you can just shut down the Gragas here. Yeah. Uh, as we're gonna see, yeah, Kikoro now is just able to wave clear very very effectively. Uh, so. About a thousand gold lead here for NYU, uh, as Joey is just struggling here against the star. Yeah, I mean, Mystery is just like so. He aggressive. understands these yeah. timing windows of the panel oh, yeah. so well too. Like you can just yep. see that he really understands when he has the advantage. Uh, yeah, fear of Max coming into the top. Lane one thing I'd like to say though that I am surprised about is that no mid burden barrier on the Syndra. One thing I'm surprised that Gragas doesn't have it. I'm shocked. That that is definitely surprising. Yeah, that's really really weird. Um, down here at the bottom lane. Can we look at bottom lane again? Is this okay? For yeah. So actually, and really quick, 
he does have the gun order that is standard. Okay. So the reason you want red and white together is uh, what red does, Severim, is uh, it, when you use the Severim ability, uh, it stacks up uh, crescendo stacks uh, immediately yep. to full. Uh, and the way you deal the most damage in the failures, you see those crazy burst plays on like yeah. on all the highlight reels, is you use Crescendo, which is the white gun, with yeah. the, the stacks. Uh, and what happens is each stack gives you additional damage on your auto as, ooh, great scout of the week there. Yeah, Kokoro just has no interest in fighting magical, which I like. All right, as much as I love talking about uh, about a failures theory, uh, we need to talk about a failures lane state. Yeah, which is a failures is winning, <laughs> uh, which is not good. Uh, we did talk about this in the interview. Yeah, uh, but Kasana just struggles a little bit with the range, and uh, the problem is that in the early game, uh, you know, Kasana isn't able to take advantage of what is honestly a pretty good early game, but. Uh, Aphelios is just able to outrange it, and then once we get close to this first item, Aphelios is going to have enough damage that it sort of negates all of it anyway, as I believe it's in mid lane. Because yeah. why not? I mean, I, I I love watching how mobile Belief has been. He's so fast. Yeah, he's so fast. I can't believe he didn't buy, buy Mobis, actually. Yeah, like, that's it's, genuinely surprising. Well, it's actually, I, I mean, Steel Caps seem really good here, but yeah, it, I, it, it is I, a little bit disappointing. Well, I, I think the reason for that is that eventually you're going to stop getting utility from from getting Mobis, but like steel caps are just gonna be so gold efficient on the game. Uh -oh. Alright, so Fear here taking a lot of but oh. amazing scout. As soon as we see a Nar here, that could just be the end of things. Gripper here trying to take down Fear of Max. I think he will not be able to, and you see Joey here just so well. so caught. You know, uses the ultimate but arrives way, way, way too late. Mystery wow. taking him down, and that is a very for clean. zero on the top side. Dragon here approaching spawn. Uh, you know, the bottom lane decides, you know what? We have the advantage. They're Let's bored. just get some Pryo here. We want to kill them too. Yeah, uh, you know, Anson, <laughs> you know, Anson and I believe you're feeling a little left out as compared to this 2 0 Syndra. Um, I think that might just be mid tower. Yeah, that probably should just be mid tower. And yeah. I'd it's... like to give a lot of credit again to Mystery Cramp for the two times we've seen Pantheon ult was a useless ult mid lane that didn't achieve anything, and then that ult in that fight. Yeah. And you want to use this Pantheon also to affect the map, but Mystery Champ is just putting on so much pressure yeah. that he's, I mean, now two games in a row just completely held his laner at bay. Yep. Uh, so really, really nicely done for Mystery Champ. A lot of credit where credit is due Explosive for him. Explosive cask, caskets used there for uh, no reason at all. Yeah. And unfortunately, that means, uh, you know... He's this, probably drunk. Give him a break. Yeah, you know, th this Graves gets to farm his jungle. When Syndra comes back, they get to take this drag or the dragon. And when they do take the dragon, there's no stand, stand united. There's no Pantheon, TP, or Ultimate, and there's no Explosive Cast either. And I want to be really clear, if they had all three of those abilities, I don't think they can contest anyway. Oh, really? No. All right, fair enough. So in the top lane here, Tramp here oh just my. still just being an absolute menace, throws oh. the rock, and it doesn't actually end up taking him down, which is very close. Sad, but... Joey, right, though, I mean, this is the thing, is like, Joey's still like, you want to be able to use the Pantheon mobility and like Ultimate to get things done across the map, and you're just not allowed to. Nope. I mean, the teleport's already down because he's had to TP the lane. You know, Mystery Tramp has his TP, and here we're going to see an engage. Fear of Max. Uh, Friston goes in there trying to get something done, but wasn't able to. Sky of the Week putting another stun down. Fear of wow. Max ends up having to oh, go wide. Oh, Ripper does get dragged, though. Ripper does pick up the drag, which is a little unfortunate. You see Magical coming in. That's a little sad. I think you say that's worth, actually. I yeah. think that getting the drag there at the end is actually super sad if you're NYU, just because... Yeah, you get the Tristana, but like whatever, you wanted the drag. And yeah, uh, so that's a little sad, but it is already a four and a half thousand gold lead for the side of NYU. Yep. Uh, that and, last and, dragon. And now we're, you know, and now we're heading into, you know, another Ocean Soul. Uh, a little bit slow. I, here's the thing though. Now Ocean Soul is at 30 minutes. Yeah. I would be surprised if we get there. Well, and, and in addition, if we do. If we do, NYU will be way stronger. Because way. They have a, they have a and way the stronger. Logo stuff. Yeah, I mean, and you know, look, there's you know, Pantheon is a bit of the center. That's the center of Yeah, no, Pantheon is uh, Pantheon is gonna definitely fall off. Uh, yeah. And that's the thing is, you pick this Pantheon because you want the early game pressure. Like yeah. I've, I've said it like three times now, but it just isn't doing anything. Here nope. comes Mystery Champ again, ton of damage down. Here is the invulnerability, but he still has the ult available. Push him oh into the my wall. Gosh. Stan United comes through, but Fear of Max is here as well, and. That is just going to be a kill onto the Pantheon, and now the Shed is caught out. 
gonna take the damage. Mystery Champ has all the movement speed in the world from that passive. Fear of Max is not gonna be able to auto it. That was so awkward. He couldn't auto yep. it through the minion Pretty wave. Easy. Perfectly timed Scatter the Week from Kikoro. Oh my Ooh. god. Flash Body Slam comes out from Magical, but I don't think this is gonna end up working the way he wanted it to. Oh, good explosive uh, cast. Really good explosive. But, no, actually, I think that was the, uh, I think that was a Flash channel ultimate there. Fear of Max really? just going real, real deep here. I don't think he cares. Um, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> man, he, he needs to clear, he needs to get out, okay. Oh, he almost got it. Almost, almost, almost able to oh. get out. Kokoro there, staying, overstaying his welcome, and, uh. Honestly, you, if you're Kokoro, you just have to know that. Like, that actually is just a, a yeah, that's mistake, just uh, as Fear Max is dead, too. Yeah, this oh, is sloppy. That's very sad. This is really, really You just sloppy. have to know that as soon as Pantheon is up, he's going to press R back yeah. to the top lane. So yeah. a little bit of a mistake there. Got a little greedy. Yeah. Uh, but a... at the end of the day, uh, they get a lot there. And this is uh, solo turret. Actually, have... I think this is positive because of Aphelios and Aphelios. Only. Yeah, I mean, Aphelios gets a solo turret there. Obviously, he has a 200 gold bounty. He's 0, zero and 0. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, he, just he, I mean, he things. also has, you know, a little bit under 10 CS a minute One right gold now. for every year of champion design. Yep, yeah, that is correct. Yes. There you go. Uh, actually, I mean, only a 200 gold lead for which is... That is surprising. Yeah. Well, there is a kill difference, but... Yeah, I mean, but, you know, you... you look, when you're playing a champion like Aphelios, you need you don't need to be ahead. You just need to not be behind. Yeah, and and we you know Aphelios is one of those champions. It's it's a lot like Kale, where you're like, okay, if you're zero and two at level eleven, you're with the game. Right? I, I don't think it's quite like that for Aphelios, I do. but it's oh you do yeah okay I do. Aphelios late game Aphelios when you like if if you're not like more than like a thousand gold behind your later once you get to like three items you are just stronger than like basically every champion in the game true. except for like maybe Kaisal. Like I think that's the exception. Which. Maybe Twitch, it depends. But Aphelios, yeah. when he has like the ability to stay healthy yep. and has the right yep. guns. I mean, Aphelios is very like rotation dependent. It's yep. just very interesting like dance that happens. But when he has these guns that he has right here, uh, yep. he can like basically one shot people. Yep. All right. So quick question here: What do you think of uh, what do you think of Gale Force on him? I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kraken Slayer is good a lot of the time, but when you're dealing with like the Shen jumping, the Pantheon, the Jusana, the, like you have so many things that you just want to be like farther away yeah. from yeah, that extra you're not mobility. Damage, right? No, yeah. you're not. <laughs> that, that extra mobility is so good here. So Syndra's um, got damage covered too. Like yeah. Syndra's five and one. You'll be fine. Yeah, this Syndra for this fight is so strong. Um, this dragon, I don't, I don't know if if Lobos get to even show up. Yeah, that's something though. That it's like I don't know how much it matters. Like the dragons, like yes, yeah, they're good, but I mean, obviously NYU wants to pick them up to keep that scaling thing going. But Lobos, I think they should really try and get. The thing is, there isn't anything on the map they really are allowed to go take. No, like top, like Nar is just like perma shoving top wave, and mid wave. Obviously, they've lost the turret. They can't really contest that. And they can't go bottom because that's where all the people will be for dragons. So I, I, I don't know what the Lobos are allowed to do here. Uh, really, again, obviously a couple of like sloppy mistakes here from NYU, but very minor ones in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. And another like very clean macro game here. Very aggressive, but aggressive in a way that they understand where they're allowed to be aggressive yep. and they're yep. playing to the strengths. So, well, you well, know, if you, if you look at the state of, uh, of the League of Legends world right now, with the exception of a couple Korean teams, all of, like you know the best teams are all chinese uh, and, and the chinese style is just you know aggression 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 if we take some kills back whatever there was an lpl game last night that was 24 minutes long and had 37 kills oh my god which is actually just solo queue at that point yeah all right well grooving up here for the dragon there is no vision here one oh, thing i'd like to point out is the highest vision score on all of lobos is 18 and uh police survivors has a 36 vision score so uh, they're gonna pull this dragon a little bit farther out here, and yeah, I think they're, they're just gonna. gonna do anything. I look for the fight. Trying to come in. The the magnet storm is huge, pulling people so far away. Scatter week unfortunately goes wide, and Nar is so 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 deep. You're taking a lot of damage. But Joey, Joe Mega here, though. Joey, I think is just gonna go down. The standing united will not be enough. The standing united does get used, but the Shen does not actually manage to make it in. I believe now putting down even more CC and Grip is looking. a little bit hot. Taunt is get the just jump for mobility. There it is! Another land and mystery will not oh. even end up going down. And that is just three, four, zero, plus the dragon. Four for zero. Four, excuse me, yeah, four for zero. And four. they have this Rift Herald still. Yeah, four for zero oh, plus boy. the dragon. Surely getting dropped in the bottom lane and... Oh, that was oh, actually so, so close. So close. 
Yeah. But yeah, this is just brutal. This is this is just another really hyper dominant. One thing I'd like to point out that I think is interesting that both Violet and Indigo, or Lavender, if you will, uh, they both just, I feel like, are so good at this team fights. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see yeah. that comparison. And this event just really clean team fights here. And that Gnarled obviously was huge, but the rest of the fight, the, the Magnus Storm, everything else, yeah. uh, was really, really well played as well. Uh, Mr. Steve, can we take a look at the, the, the Gold on Champions right now? Excellent. Uh, yeah, so the, the thing here now is, yeah, Phileas is only a little bit ahead. Syndra has a 3,500 gold lead in the mid lane. Yep. Uh, Graves has a 2,500 gold lead in the jungle. Yep. 1,500 gold in top. Like, it's just brutal all around. Yeah, I mean, and also, this is the part of the game where an ahead Syndra means that you can't lose. It's yeah. Just, well, they're, they're it's not 21 minutes, games. and the team that I think is better in the late game is already ahead, right? Like, yeah, we talked about this you know, a lot, but there there is no scaling to be done. They have scale, yep. and it's 21 yep. minutes in. Well, and also, you know, they're, they're 8k gold ahead, and their whole jungle is up. Right, there's plenty of gold left on the map. Joey's I don't real, know real caught here. here. Uh, he might be able to make it out. No, he's, no, he he's won't. Teammates, but I lied. His teammates That's can't wrong. even do anything. Yeah, Gripper there just has to, you know, walk away and just, you know. Oh, here down. comes Darrell. Believe here, the Magnusaur just to keep uh, the Gragas, uh, you know, locked down. Shanna has to retreat to the safety of her turret just to be able to live for even just a little bit longer. Freeson here taking so much damage. Another huge gnarled oh. lance, and that's just an ace. Wow. For nothing. That, that, I mean, there's like actually, so Lobos is getting desperate, and you can tell oh because there is no reason for Lobos to be in the top jungle there. Yep. Like, they don't have anything that they can do about Baron. Yep. They should not be in top jungle at all. They should be pushing bot tower. Yep. Yep. They should be getting dragon area vision. Like, they should, I mean, look, they, they have an open something. inhibitor that's just hitting their yeah. turrets right So, I mean, Lobos, obviously, they're just getting desperate, and it's hard to blame them, uh, but... <laughs> As a flash away from Kikora, the teleport right. comes in. A lot of damage for Joey Lamento, actually, and he's just going to kill Kikora, but Mystery Trip is here for the re-engage, and he is going to get a ton of damage down. He's doing massive damage with those passive stacks. Lamento gets the steal, but the Banganar comes in. Mystery Trip is unstoppable as, ooh, that was a little close. Magical Poop looking now for Bleed Survivors. Bleed Survivors is going to survive. Plenty of damage from the Aphelios, and that's going to be the Baron picked up as well. 12k gold lead for NYU. They've got the bot in him already. They've got the Baron buff. They've got everything they could want. And this is going yeah. to be a 2-0 very shortly for the NYU Violet. Yeah, I mean... Uh, excuse know, me, for Lavender. What yeah. are, one of those pink colors. Whatever, yeah, purple, I mean, whatever it is. Look, this is... Uh... I'm, I'm not going to cast a curse. I'm shutting up. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. This is good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Mythic item one, I mean, the, the other thing is you start to look at the item differences, and one of the things Jesus. about gold lead is that yeah. it once it starts to manifest, it, it, spot, it snowballs, right? Yep. So, we now have three item, three item, full three item Nar. We have close to full three item Syndra. We've got close to three item Aphelios. On the other side, Gragas has uh, Night Harvester and Sheen. Yep. Uh, two items are crisp, but we're going to see another fight here. Max here a little bit caught, but I don't know how much it matters. Magnusstorm comes down here to CC. A lot of Max from the again. You see the rest of Lavender oh, making their way Max! down. Max with a phenomenal He's flash to keep himself alive here. Stand United doesn't even go off because he just dies. Uh, the Trishana does pick up a kill. Joey here trying Not to answer here, back. Not here, to be clear. Oh, excuse me, yeah. <laughs> Joey here trying to answer back a little bit, but Max is just too strong. There was other nonsense happening in the other part of the jungle. Well. They are headed in to the base here. Nexus turret one is down. Nexus turret two is about to fall. And at the earlier early time that we are in this game, 24 minutes. Wow, lavender, three whole minutes longer than the last. Yeah, game. the lavender will pick up game two and complete the 2-0 best of three. Well done against the Lobos. Absolute dominance. What? This was a uh, this was a 45 minute series. Uh, yeah. All right, well, uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations to the Lavender. Absolute clappage. I am still a hot fish. I'm still joined by Delta. That was, uh, that was, that was, that was lovely. Uh, yeah. To, yeah, either Max or Max or Believe. I'm, believe cool with yeah. Ma I'm cool with Max or Believe. Uh, yeah, we're going to get an interview with them momentarily. Absolute dominance. Uh, you know, foot on the gas, never take it off. And uh, that is just that. They will advance. And they're going to be playing... Uh, so, yeah, they will either be playing the University of Illinois, okay. or I believe that is the University of Houston. 
University uh, of Houston. Is the... I didn't know the University of Houston existed. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. yeah, they exist. They're a real school and people attend it with students and professors. <laughs> uh, I promise. Uh, so, yeah, so that is the matchup on tap for next week. Uh, that game has not yet been decided. Uh, or at least we do not know if it has been decided. But we will be been. casting it. Uh, yeah, we will be here. Yeah, we will uh, be here. I, I mean, you know, speaking of schools, uh, you know, we look, there was there was some schooling in this match. Yeah. You know, yes. you know, Lobos, welcome to class. These are your teachers. They got an education yeah, in they got an education. Uh, aggression. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, it's like you're allowed to be that aggressive when you're that clean aggressively. Oh, yeah. Like they okay. weren't being overly aggressive. They weren't pushing windows that they couldn't, except yeah. for like the couple of times where they just inted for no reason. But we'll excuse those. Well, look, uh, you know, Poly Gaming Network. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of Super Smash Brothers here, right? You know, you can be you can be very aggressive in. You know, Smash is a good example. You can be very aggressive in fighting games when you know there are windows where you can punish. Yeah. And I think the top lane was actually perfect because. With the exception of a couple of moments, Tramp knew when he was like, all right, you're far away from your passive. I'm about to hit Meganar. I want to give kill you. just a massive shout out to Mystery Tramp because yeah, he, it. he got exactly zero jungle ganks the entire series and also managed to... No, there was literally yeah, no, 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 no jungle right. I, I'm just, I'm just He got to ganked three or four times, yeah, but he right, never yeah. got a gank. Yeah. And he just managed to completely make his laner irrelevant yeah, yeah. for 45 straight minutes yeah well, like and i mean the, you know the same thing can also be said for uh for oh god i'm choking I, I, our mid laner what is wrong with me chat don't get mad this is the first time we've cast yeah that. we're doing uh, here. excuse we're, us uh, here go go back uh, uh, excuse uh, me kokoro yes so kokoro <laughs> dude uh i mean kokoro uh just so you know, uh, Steve, the stream is looking at uh, the stream is looking at. Okay, okay, just want to be sure. Okay, so I mean, you know, like Kokoro. Yeah. He, he there there were some uh, there there were some. You know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Oh wait. my god! Hold on. I right. need to know: Is Anson actually auto filled? Like, are you actually a mid laner? All right. Okay, so uh, we're I gonna to we're gonna take a moment here, Max. Hi, what's up? Max? Hi, Max. What's Hi. going on, buddy? How does it feel? Is your name actually Max? Uh, yeah. That's okay, cool. Excellent. All right. Uh, I'm I'm Hotfish. I'm joining Delta, which always. is our real names. We promise. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, welcome and congratulations on <laughs> the perfect. slaughter yeah. that was this match. How do you feel, man? Uh, I feel I feel. What can I say? I feel normal because uh, <laughs> this enemy team is pretty good, honestly. Uh, it's just. Yeah, I'm just used to it. They give us a surprise on ban picks, uh, on banning my Hecarim and uh, Olaf. Yeah, Actually, uh, since I'm a top main in rank, so nobody ever banned my Hecarim. <laughs> sure. So this is this is a this is a quick question that we have. So we we asked uh, Martin this when we had an interview with him after draft for game two. It seems like game one at the speed that you guys were locking things things in. It seems like you guys just got everything you wanted. Yeah, I, I guess it's uh, our coach. Uh, our coach uh, has uh, decided way before we uh, start the game. He's a good coach. So, uh, so, so would you say this is this this match was a bit of a coaching gap? Yeah, yeah, coach gap, coach gap. Well, so yeah. I, I I wanted to compliment you because this was also you know, this was a jungle gap. It was a bit of a diffy in the jiffy. This Definitely. match. I mean, you were just everywhere, especially game one. How did it feel? When you got to lock in Olaf against their comp, uh, I, I just, I just feel I'm going to run down, run it down. True, if I can run because, it down. Uh, <laughs> you definitely you ran at them. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you, that's a uh, Ragnarok mentality, right? Yeah. You just go, go kill them, and it was it was impressive stuff in the first game, especially. But, but obviously, you're. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble focusing because I'm watching Anson just flame you in Twitch <laughs> chat right now, Mac. So uh, um, Anson is uh, is like a bullier in the. Team. It's okay. I heard that he's a wa I heard he's a washed up mid laner. So yeah, yeah, he's uh, a, so yeah. He's this a is, this is a... in plat one for like. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a quick question I have for uh, for for you about how the team works. Who is shot calling? Who's who's making decisions in game? Yeah, I'm uh, curious too. It's uh, definitely me. Definitely like you. The, okay. Yeah, I'm like the captain of the team. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. You know, I, I, I've I've always been a fan 
of uh, I, I, I've always been a fan of of, uh, of junglers who of junglers who get to make decisions. Yeah. I think um, that the way you played, uh, I would like you to tell your team that we think you should now make all of the decisions. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, tell yeah, them yeah. that. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, so, yeah, I, always, I mean, like, I don't, I don't make like uh, much because I, I discuss with the team. You know, I'm not like the kind of uh, you're not. Uh, I, I, yeah, uh, I discuss yeah, with yeah. the team. So I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emperor is the right word. I was gonna say dictator. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you you make sure to take input. Uh, okay. The other thing I was curious about, so I have, I have an actual question, which was, uh, it's, which instead of memes, I mean, uh, one of the things that I thought was really impressive is it seems like you and uh, Belief Survivors have really good synergy. You both moved around the map really effectively as, yeah. a, as like a, a team. And uh, it seems like, obviously, you know, we're, we're a little new to casting you guys because we've been casting Violet. Uh, but I mean, we, we were both really impressed with the way yeah, you guys was, worked together. Uh, and the whole team, really, we were very impressed. Uh, but uh, you know, is, is is that something that you're just like really comfortable with working with Believe? And like, can you talk a little bit about playing with someone who's so aggressive but also so good as him, as good as him? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's really comfortable working with Believe. Except um, whenever like in normal matches, whenever we go around the map and then Ensign will get dive, he ints <laughs> our ADC. <laughs> uh, at that time, it's uh, it's a little bit hush, but like we just tell Ensign to stay like. Stay really behind and not die when we walk around the map. But besides that, it works pretty good. It seems like it did. Uh, it went really well. Uh, that though, like this gave Anson. Uh, you know, <laughs> he, yeah. he's he's having fun in Twitch chat, but he did a great job as well of playing some of that like more. I guess you could say weak side bot lane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it turns out like when you guys are just so ahead, it's not really weak side <laughs> anyway, right? Like True. he has so much gold. So yeah, he can All just right, take. Well take kills go ahead sorry excuse me yeah all right well um thank you for joining us sir congratulations mm -hmm. on an absolute stomp uh we're gonna be casting you next week as well uh do you have any 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 uh any last words anything else you want to say anybody you want to shout out uh this is, the, this is your platform any yeah, social I'm media saying, i'm just saying like we're like the best team of nyu you know best team <laughs> of nyu okay yeah, yeah. Uh, best team of NYU. Any shout outs, any, any social media you want? Uh, shout out to, shout out to my, my team and the coach. We did very well. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, Max. Uh, thank you for uh, the interview and also thank you for smurfing. Yeah. On congratulations on that. Yeah. All right, man. You. Be well. We will see you next week. And that is about that. Thank you yeah. for the interview. All right. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much else there is to say today. I'm sure we could think of things. I, yeah, we can think of things. I'm not sure how much more listening people want yeah, to do to us. Yeah, I, I don't know what else we should say. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you to uh, Steve, as always. Got to yeah. give our shout-out, as always. To our Absolute madman, Steve. Madman, Steve. Who, none of this would happen. Yeah, we, we mentioned this earlier. Uh, follow Polygaming Network on Twitch. Follow them on Twitter. You can follow myself at Museum Potfish on Twitter. You can follow him at Jaden Rosard. You can see right there, there's the little thingy um yeah congratulations absolute smurfing draft gap mid gap coach gap uh, support gap adc gap top gap you know yeah just a gap caster gap yeah caster gap we actually were uh a clean two zero in a number oh, of yeah. casters casting the oh game yeah too that's true yeah wait oh yeah sure okay <laughs> i got it all right everybody thank you for tuning in i have always or i have as always <laughs> you've been, always been hot i've fish. always been Fish? Yes, yeah. always has been. All right, I've been Hotfish. I'm Delta. We will see you next week. Be well, everybody. Bye.